Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sugar Roller Skates. We're gonna go over ramp skating today. The absolute basics to get you started on a ramp or a feature at a skate park just like this. But before we get into the lesson, let's give a big shout out to S1 for outfitting me in this fine helmet, making sure my noggin is all safe. And I highly, highly, highly recommend that you wear protective gear when you're on a ramp and you're skating outdoors at a skate park. So they hooked me up with knee pads and elbow pads so I'm nice and safe. Um, the other thing I have to tell you about, you guys, if you still need skates, if you still don't have skates, or you need accessories, or you need different things for different aspects of skating, go on over to Wicked Skatewear. Dot com and the gals over there tell them I sent you and they will take care of you also I'm on Instagram I post some funny stuff on Instagram old pictures all sorts of stuff so I'm at dirty Deborah Harry Instagram and Facebook if you want to follow me there all right shall we get into this lesson now so many new people have gotten into skating just recently there's been like this absolute surge of newcomers to skating we welcome you new skaters if you're going to skate at the rink you're going to skate outdoors wherever it is we welcome you so if you're going to try something new like this though there is going to definitely be so much easier if you have some basic technique that i'm going to go over here okay when you roll up to, let's say it's a skate park, like th it, this kind of situation is friendly because we're in someone's backyard, so it's, it's really great. When you go to a skate park, just let me tell you, there may be some social anxiety that goes on when you see other people skating the skate park, they're skateboarders, uh, roller skaters, whatever. Just try to find an area that's not being heavily used and let's start there. Also, be conscientious of what we're looking at survey the terrain try to look and find the easiest section to start with so if i were going to encounter something like this whether it's someone's backyard ramp or a skate park a skate park will always have this kind of feature in it it may not necessarily have this flowing kind of ramp but it will definitely have this feature to it you can always start here all right now a couple of things that you are absolutely going to have to be able to do is to skate in a staggered stance if you watch my how to skate outdoors playlist there are tutorials on there on how to do just this to skate in a staggered stance a lot of times when we're skating we have our feet somewhat side to side and we're rocking our body weight from side to side but when you skate at the skate park you can't do that you have to be in a staggered stance not only do you have to be in a staggered stance but you have to understand where your body weight goes okay so when I put one foot slightly in front of the other and I drop my hips I have to have the weight more toward the back so it's going to be this back you know how I know I have my weight on my back is when my hip shifts out so if I put one foot mine is right foot uh, left foot in the back when my hip pops out like that I know my weight is back here your weight needs to be on the back foot now really important this knee needs to be turned inward so it's supporting the front right foot for me knee it's going to be tucked under there i'm trying to take my skate position which is normally like this and turn it into this i am trying to line it up trying to do a staggered stance you do not want to go up with your feet side by side trust me super dangerous it's a lot safer if you do it like this so you're on a flat space. Why don't we just practice doing that? You're going to skate forward, drop your body weight down, shoot one foot out in front, stick the hip out of the other. Okay? Back foot, knee, behind front foot. Just feel like I'm going to run into this at some point. So, if you skate forward, you're going to go one, two, three, shoot that foot out in the front, get your weight on the back, tuck your knee under. Square off your body, shoulders over the hips, knee behind the other knee. Now, you absolutely know you have enough weight on your back foot when your front foot can come up. This es muy importante. 
you're gonna need this. You're gonna need this ability to lift this toe off the ground for a lot of different reasons. Just trust me on it, you need to know it now. Boom. When we go to go up the ramp, it's gonna take a lot more um, mindful, thoughtfulness and calmness rather than the old standby of you just gotta have and do it. There's movement already built into the ramp. You're just following it. You're just riding it. Ramp in control, not you. You can't try to dominate it. That's not what it's like, okay? You're just gonna be like, this is a fun little roller coaster. I'm gonna strap myself in and just ride this thing. So when I look at the ramp, I don't see it as an enemy that I have to defeat. I'm just gonna rise up and then come on down. As you go up, the words, in your brain need to be float, float, float. You are gonna float up, push down. Float up, push down, all right? Your arms are gonna raise up. Raise your body up. You're gonna go up, 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 down, down, down. It is perfectly acceptable when you're first learning to put your toe stop down and stop right here in the middle because we're just trying to master this section, just going up, okay? We look ahead, skate forward, up, 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 down, stop. When I go down, literally in my mind, I'm like float, float, float. When I get to the highest part of it naturally, I'm not trying to extend my leg to get out there farther. Just naturally, I push down on my skates, push down, get my body weight down. So I have a little bit more force and pressure on the way down. Float up, push down. That is where all the momentum comes from. That body weight of just pushing down. Let me show you again. So I go up, push down. When you see my entire body, as it goes up, it straightens up just a little bit, and then it, oof, down on the way down. Float, 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 down, 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 down. That gives you natural momentum. So, up, down. I go up, push down, okay? Now, be careful with the push down part. If you push down hard enough, if you're at the high enough point of this and you push down hard enough, it is literally going to swing you all the way back to the same height on the other side of the ramp, okay? So if you're just telling yourself, um, yeah, dirty, I'd like to stay in this general vicinity right here. <laughs> perfectly fine. I want you to know that you may not understand this, but you have complete control over the situation. Go up, nice and easy float, push down just a little if you only have a little bit of space that you're comfortable with returning. If you want more, give it more at the top. Step on the gas at the top, okay? So let me, gonna, we'll go through this slow. Here's me going up a little, press down a little. Look, it sends me wink, right back to the other side just as much as I push down. Push down a little, get a little. Push down a lot, get a lot. Push down a lot, wee, all the way up, okay? Push down a lot, push, all right? So, Let's talk about your body in full length, full color, all that jazz. You will notice that when I turn to come down, whether or not I'm stopping right here or my plans are to ascend the ramp backward, fakey, I'm looking in that direction. Look, you don't have to look, but in order to get your brain and your body synced up and your emotions all in line and not to get scared about this whole situation, it's a good idea to just look. The brain and the body like to go, uh, the, your body likes to go where you look. Okay, so if I go forward and then it's like, like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, woo! That, who knows? It's a lot easier if I dead eye 
stare where I want to be. If I'm looking, my brain can process this, send the correct signals to my body, and most importantly, keep me in line. When I have one foot in the back and one foot in the front, my knee is tucked behind. If I stretch out my arm like this, and I have a lot of strength in this arm, it'll take me right in that direction. If you have challenges when you're going like this of coming way too far out here or coming way too far back here, trust me, it's your shoulder and your arm that is not in line with where you wanna go. So how about we just point? How about we just point? So we're gonna go up, 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 and we literally point and let backward bend up happen naturally we are looking in a straight line up 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 down 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 up 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 down 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 open up your shoulder in the direction but keep that arm straight in skating as always your snack area is very important whether your snack area is small or medium large or your snack area has been a building piece of art for years and decades it needs to be strong you need to call upon your snacks to tighten up when you're doing this okay you cannot let your upper body just swim all around and think free to be me out here on the ramp that's not how this stuff works especially when we're first learning so arms are up tight 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 down 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 up 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 i'm looking 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 okay snacks tight tight all right you guys other thing I have to tell you about this, you got to know how to use your toe stops. Now, for those of you who may be coming from a different genre of skating where you're like toe stops, what are those nonsense things you have on the bottom of your skates? When you skate the ramps, they are amazing. They're a whole new world of tricks and treats for you. You also need them to stop on a dime. So oftentimes you'll be at a skate park and uh, <laughs> Skateboard, okay, you need them. You need them to operate safely in the skate park. So when you go to the skate park, throw those toe stops in. As always, chin up, shoulders straight across, snack tight, arms out and strong. That comes from a relaxed shoulder and nice and long and lean arms so you can use them to rise up, bring down, straighten out and all that stuff. We need to make sure that we are very comfortable in this position. I need you to sit your down, take your knee, tuck it under, and get ready. Understand, you are in complete control. Down as much as you want to rebound, float down, float up, push down. All right, skaters. I so hope this has at least encouraged you that if you see a feature like this at the skate park that you might be able to say, I think I can tackle that. I think it has something to do with the staggered stance and, and eating a lot of snacks and then um, floating and something like that, right? I, I think those are the three things I got out of her video, right? I want you guys to have fun. Wear your pads wear your pads i can't say it enough and have fun at the skate park now my last note is skate park skating um if you're out in public at a skate park dude just say hi to people randomly because it is all this social awkwardness anxiety you know someone looks at you hey just casual hey, what's up you don't have to make friends with every stranger at the park but i'm just saying it's a lot easier when you're friendly right off the bat then you less interpret other people as being unfriendly am i right and then our next video we're going to talk about how to turn on a ramp just like this okay so subscribe stay tuned and we'll uh, get into the next part of this later you guys have fun go practice you're going to need lots of practice okay